Hey guys, this is the second phase, the second intensity level for you guys that are gonna get out there and do one of the fabulous charity races up and down the country throughout the summer months. You're gonna go out, what are you gonna do? 5K, race for life, here's what I want. Three different phases of intensity. I've already shown you on one of the previous clips, the walk and talk. What's walk and talk? Exactly what it says on the box of chocolates. It's walking and talking. What we're gonna do now is make you feel like you've actually done a bit of an athletic event. It's called the race for life. So we're gonna do a little bit of running, but not all the way. A really tremendous way of improving your health and fitness is to do interval training. And the way you do interval training is you do different levels of intensity for certain periods of time. So the way we're gonna go here is we're gonna do some walking mm -hmm. and then some jogging. Fantastic. Walking and then some jogging. There's no rules. No regulations, you don't have to wear a stopwatch, but you're just gonna go out, walk and run, walk and run. We'll show you that, and then if you wanna get a little bit more serious about it, I'll tell you a little technique which is good fun to do afterwards. So we're gonna run down here, show you how we change our speed. Start off with a walk. Nice, fast walk to begin with. And then we're not gonna run off and sprint, but we're just gonna up it into a little bit of a jog. And then no need to grind to a halt. We just take it back down to the walk. And we'll turn around and go back straight away. Exactly. So we're gonna go straight back again in our little walk here. And then you see when we come up into the jog, we really relax our hands. We're taking quite short strides. Everybody always shouts at you when you're out running, get your knees up. <laughs> Not us. We're just taking it dead easy. Down to a walk and then up to a run again. Now we just had a little short space to work from then, but if you're out in the park or maybe going around the streets, you're on the road, here's a great little tip. Look at the lampposts. Here's what I like to do. I like to walk to one lamppost and then run to the next one. Walk to one and then run to the next one. And as you get fitter, you can basically increase the length of the running section and keep the walk in to one lamppost. So walk to one and then run to the next two. Walk and run. Ready to go one more time? Oh, let's go. Ready, Mr. Cameraman? Good. <laughs> so the trick is to make those transitions nice and smooth. So when you go up into the run, all you're doing pushing a little bit more, relaxing your shoulders, trotting along. Dance will walk, and then we'll turn around and do it one more time. Say when. When. Okay. And you can see that what happens is we get a bit of recovery and a bit of intensity. A bit of recovery, stop, and a bit of intensity. <laughs> you see when I said stop, it's because there's a flower bed there and the boys just fell over. But I think we got away with it. So here we go. Walking, running, walking, running. Walk and talk is our entry level, gonna get you round. You want to feel like you've worked a little bit harder? Walk and run! The next one we're going to show you on another clip is called Run Around! Which, as it sounds, is going to make you run around. Well done. Thanks for watching.